Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. Today I'm going to be doing stages 69 to 74 of the Diego Stini Collectibles release and build the International Space Station. Now I'm guessing we're going to be continuing what we were doing here. This is what we were working on in the last pack. Now what I'm going to do is, I have been splitting these down into stages, but because some of these stages are quite quick. I am going to do what I did in the last pack, and I'm just going to put all the stages together. I think that's the best way to do that. So just looking at stage 74, it looks like we're going to have this section complete as well. And obviously, we've been working on this stand area here as well. Now, I don't think this is available anymore, unfortunately. I don't know if it's coming back either. There is a link in the video description, though, so you can check that out for yourself. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Yeah, I definitely think that's what we're going to be doing. So again, I'm going to give you a quick guide just through all of these magazines. Um, as you see, we are making another one of these solar panels, solar set, I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, we're putting these together here. So rather than go through every single magazine, because it's just going to be pretty much repeating what we did the first time we did this, this is what the last stage is going to look like. Obviously, we get lots of articles regarding the International Space Station. I mean, it's not going to be around long, actually, thinking about the space station now, isn't it? We've got probably about another five years left on it, I think, before it's going to be decommissioned. Uh, but as you can see, this is how it's going to look at the end. Now, these parts here, I'm not putting in. I'll do that at the very end, uh, because uh, I've noticed I've been putting them in, but realizing I'm having to put a piece on there. So uh, I'm having to take them out again. So I will put these parts in at the end. But that is how it's going to look. But we are going to start with stage 69 here. And I want one of these panels here. I want it this way round with the notch in there. And what I'm going to be doing is putting this just on top here, which means that when I flip it over, it's going to be going in this way. Just like that. Put the base on. That's going to hold everything into place there. And holding that in with MS4 screws. All I've got then is this little wire to clip in to the two holes that I've got either side here. Use my tweezers just to get that in there. So that looks like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That means stage 70 here, we've got the other part of this, which is going to be very similar. I want to make sure I've got this round the right way again with this notch. So it's going to be going on there, flip it over. Put the clamp on the back and then MS4 screws to screw that in. All I'm going to do then is just put this uh, into this point just there. That's the end of that stage. Here is stage 71. You see why I'm bundling all of these together now, can't you? <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting these two parts together. This is just going to be going in like this, but it is held in once again, with an MS4 screw just at the end. Perfect. Bringing this over here, I'm going to be inserting this like this here, putting the two parts together just there. So that looks like that. And then once again, we're just going to be putting the ends on. and holding them in with the MS4 screws. And that's two each side. And then finally, I just need one of these MB7 screws. That's gonna be going just down the end here. But I am gonna to have to use, I'm gonna to have to use my other screwdriver for this because this screwdriver, I can't get down here because that's going all the way down here and screw that in nice and tight. There you go. That's another one of these sows completed, or panels completed. <laughs> so in stage 72, as you can see, we've got another base piece here, and then we've got another piece just here, which we're gonna be adding to what we've created there. So we're gonna start pinning these together. So this is actually gonna be coming 
quite big as we mix both of these together. Lots of screws in this stage, including our favorite big R screws. <laughs> and basically these ones are gonna go on the opposite side to this one here. So this is gonna be going in here just like this, putting it in there. So it's sitting higher up than this one here. And I'm closing it off by putting in this metal section just here on the top. And I'm holding that in with some MS4 screws. Now it says it needs six of these. So I've got to try and figure out <laughs> where <laughs> it takes six. Because I can only see four that it needs. Apparently it takes two at the back here as well. So just get them in. Then I'm going to be putting this top piece on here, just like that. I tend to find that this disc at the top goes in the opposite direction to the one that's already there. I think that's the right way around. I can't be sure, but it does look like what the picture is. And I can put that to one side. Bringing over what we created last time. I'm going to have it this way around here, and I'm going to be adding another panel to the bottom here. So it's just a case of slipping this on like that. Get in my big R screws and screwing these in here. We need two of these. I am gonna have to use my PH1 screwdriver. This is my big screwdriver for this. And then it's just a case of putting these nuts and bolts in again. So you'd have a bolt from this side a nut in this side and then you'll alternate it through these connection points here. So let me get that done. This is the last one just going in here and with that in place that is all there is to do in that stage. Which means in stage 73 it's pretty similar to what we've just done and by that I mean I'm going to be taking this section here where I've got this tab I'm going to be adding another panel just like that Put in one of my big ass AS8 screws in. <laughs> and in a similar way, I'm joining these with the nuts and the screw bolts here. Remember this connects at two points. So it is four screws. Just bring this section here back over because now I've got this detail to put in. It's going in this way and it's going to be fitting just in the end, just like that. And that's going to be held in with MS4 screws. And we need three of these. And there you go. With that in, that's all there is to do in that stage. And this is the last stage of this pack. This is stage 74, which means I'm going to be taking this piece. And I'm going to be putting it into this piece. I'm just checking which way round this goes. It's going to go in this way, so it has got a keyhole pattern actually, so it can only go in one way, like that. Holding it in with <laughs> our favourite R screws, AS5s, in two places here. Now as I said, this piece I'm not going to be putting on yet, this actually just goes along the edges here, but until I know which edges they go on, I'm leaving them off for now. Bringing over the panel we've been working on here, this is going to be going this way around, so the notch is around that section there, just into the top, like this. Once again, it's going to be held in with MS4 screws, you need four of these. And with that in, that's all there is to do in that stage, that's all there is to do in that pack. Another massive one here, so... Uh, we are getting there, and I'm guessing in the next pack, we're gonna be doing the other one on this side. So uh, lots and lots of sales. Uh, I do believe we've done the main body, as you can see, that's behind me here. So I don't actually know what's, what's left to do. It'll be interesting to find that out. Anyway, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.